Hey everyone, welcome back here. So today we're doing a comparison video, uh, side by side here, uh, from two Rinseless Wash products. Again, Armor Detail Supply Heroes, the new one on the block here, and we have McKee's N914 version two, which is uh, brand new on the market as well. Um, so we're gonna just do a comparison video here, side by side, kind of just share user experience here. Uh, people are tend to ask me because this supposed to be on the comments as well. They were asking me how these compare with each other, and so we're gonna we're gonna compare them side by side. Uh, just kind of talk about lubricity primarily between these two products here uh, and then people have been asking what's your favorite rinseless wash of all time uh, i can't spoil that just yet because if i do then there's no sense of making a video so uh, kind of uh, hang tight there uh, i already know what my top five are top five rinseless washes are uh, so i probably will do a video like eddie and kind of just share my top five it's a little different than what he has again when people ask what's your favorite rinseless wash or what's the best rinseless wash that's subjective to each person's user experience. Everybody has a different user experience. So if I said that this product X is better than product Y, and then you go buy product X and then you use it and you say, no, nah, that's complete trash, and that product Y is the best one, then again, it's all based on user experience and the environment that you're using the product in. So I just wanna point that out there. So my top five is slightly different than Eddie's. Uh, does that mean that um, whatever he states is not the best? Absolutely not because that's the best of what works for his environment. Uh, so we're gonna just go back and forth there. Um, so uh, let's get right to it. Eventually we'll put these other ones side by side here. I just put, pull these out just for demonstration purposes as to you know which ones are, are here on, on, the, um, on the table. Because last time I did, I did kind of make videos side by side washing the vehicle between uh, Hero and Rapid Rinseless Wash. Honestly, I prefer Hero over Rapid Rinseless Wash uh, between the two. This is a, a good product, again, good value for your money uh, if you're only going to buy one product again 34 ounces it goes a long way uh, but if you're going to be looking for like the best product between these two uh, if i was looking at these two it's actually going to be hero hero is actually the better product there so i kind of uh, want to point that out there and we'll compare it to absolute because i know people are going to ask how does it compare to absolute and they want to know how it compares to diy detail those are the two primary big ones these other ones uh, we may not um, compare them to because it's not a fair comparison you know HydroSave is actually a wash and coat product so it doesn't really compare uh, in terms of uh, when you're comparing uh, for example Hero or N914 to HydroSave because it's this is a wash and coat it's leaving protection behind so I would probably compare two wash and coats together and stay you know if you're looking for a wash and coat product you know is it which one's better than, than this I'd probably do it that way here so I'm probably gonna I'll probably still include it in my, in my top five list you know overall to kind of say you know does this even make the make the cut and that type of thing uh we'll probably so we'll probably do that we'll probably compare them at some point um so that's kind of like my thought process at the moment so let's get right to it here i have two buckets made we're gonna go ahead and wash the um uh i'll probably just do the 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 passenger side i'm only gonna do two doors with this maybe a couple panels side by side the reason i'm gonna do that actually i'll probably do both doors here i'm not really sure so we'll see how this sets up so i'm probably gonna do the impala here and then I'll, maybe i'll use or maybe i'll use a grand prix i don't know let me think about this here as i'm flying by here so uh, we're gonna get prepped here i have we're gonna do 40 milliliters of each product here and uh, we'll talk about the, the product the user experience here let me just use the grand prix for this purpose that car is not overly dirty but again we're gonna talk about um the bristity primarily because the cleaning ability between these two products is great uh, for me, that's a, a a hard factor to determine because both of these do a really great job of cleaning the, the paint here and they do it in a safe manner. So for me, it's just coming in and say which one feels like it has more of the bristle than the other. Uh, so uh, let's just take a look at that. I will tell you that McKee's actually seems like it has a little bit more surfactants in there. Just shaking it here. So uh, let me take both of these over there and we'll prep the product here. And I'm only going to use a microfiber towel on the surface uh, because on the, from a sponge perspective, they feel, they feel the same. So I pull this over here real quick. And I'm just gonna use regular pump sprayers here. I don't wanna put that on the floor. So let me get them out of the way. Okay, so let me take the Mimic Keys here. Oy. 
course I'm back. So I'm going to do 40 milliliters because I have two and a half gallons. in here so that's 40 milliliters of the keys and we'll do 40 milliliters of wipe my glove with hero such a great color too. So from a scent perspective, I gotta get up to um, Armor Detail Supply for that one. I'm just going to do this. Like I said, I'm going to be using a microfiber towel. These are the um, Eagle Edgeless. I believe these were the 350 GSM ones. So we'll just dunk one in there. And uh, I was going to do the sponge comparison, but I didn't think it was going to be uh, fair here. Unless I do like half the door with it, but we'll see. Okay, so I don't have another Marilex pump sprayer, so we'll use this guy. We'll use the Harbor Freight, which again is a pretty good uh, pump sprayer. This one's about to die. Now, nah, this thing's gonna, this thing's on its last legs. I'm surprised it's lasted that long, to be honest. Okay, and we're gonna take another. When you swish it around, you can see it does have good amounts of fact that's in there. I use my other hand. So you can see the McKees one is a little more sort of fact and heavy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this side down with this guy. Try to limit the amount of uh, overspray because it is windy out here. pressure. Okay. So since I'm already here, I'm going to do the, the keys one. So it's Let me grab this towel out here too. I'll put that there for a minute. Okay, I want to just get them set straight up. Let me wipe my hands because I don't want to cross contaminate the towel here. Because what I'm going to try to do is go 
It's gonna be a little difficult here. I'm gonna try to do both at the same time. Okay, you can see that this one picked up dirt. This one, I can't really see a little bit of dirt. Flip this over. Flip this over. Okay, this is gonna be a little difficult because I can't, I don't have that. So this is the McKees. I'm just gonna do this top portion here. This is... Yeah, so if I keep going around the top here. I'm telling you, man, I'm... Okay. Side by side, I'm just rubbing the same panel over and over. I gotta give the edge to here. Okay, Bradley, I gotta, I gotta apologize to you, Bradley. Um, it does feel like it has more lubricity, just by not by a lot, uh, but it does. So I'm just go ahead and finish this guy up over here. Yeah, it, it's not that. The difference is not that much. So I'm gonna just kind of do that. Yeah, so it, I mean, I, I said it does. Hero does have just a little bit more lubricity than the keys. Again, we're splitting hairs here. Okay, so I picked up some dirt in there. Um, can just let them dry on there for a minute. This one doesn't have super. Let's kind of see if there's enough. If I clean the towel, is it enough to really show anything? Nah, it's too. It's a little harder to see to get that in there, but um, again, we're talking cleaning power. Uh, this thing, they're both pretty good. So let me just dump this initially in there. This does a better job releasing dirt. So um, just kind of going between the two, uh, I'm gonna tell you that um, Hero has the edge of lubricity and it has the edge in releasing, uh, releasing dirt. I hope this gives you a better idea in that aspect. They both wipe off pretty good too. Let's see, no streaks. It's starting to flash off here. Yeah, so no streaks, no weird uh, streaks. So Bradley, I owe you an apology there. Uh, N914. You beat N914. when it comes to slickness, slickness, lubricity. And I'm using a gauntlet because I wanted to see how they felt with the gauntlet here. All right, so that's pretty much it. Let's make sure I got this. All right, so that's uh, that's pretty much it between the two. Um, I just want to kind of just showcase these two products side by side because uh, you know people have been asking like, well, which one which one's a better choice? And, and that's a tough one because if you already have N914 version two, I would just say just use this up and then maybe give Hero a try uh, at a later date. Or if you want to just have both side by side, hey, uh, pick them up, compare them yourself, see which one you like better. Um, so I said, I'm going to give the edge to Hero on in terms of lubricity and the way it releases dirt from my uh, towel here. It did a better job in that regard. Uh, McKee's N914 version 2 is definitely a step up from version 1, so it's no slouch either. And it did a good job. And I know people have been complaining that there, or Eddie had stated, and I think, I forget who else, Jeff C maybe, that N914 version 2 left like a weird film. Um, honestly, I haven't experienced that with N914. So the, here's the thing about rinseless washes. 
people always have different experiences with their rinseless wash. Uh, lots of, again, conditions can lead to that aspect. Your water is one primary difference between the thing. My water may be different here than it is in uh, like uh, Idaho where Eddie's from or it's different in uh, Minnesota versus here in California. So again, the water differences, the hardness of your water will dictate the performance of your rinseless wash as well. Are these gonna soften water? Not so much. Is it gonna make your less water spotting on the surface? Yeah, absolutely, because that, that's what the rinseless wash is designed to do uh, once it mixes up in the bucket and both of these do a good job with that. And so again, your user experience is gonna be different from person by person and it's really hard to state which is the better product because I would say test it out. If you don't like it, send it back. Cause I know McKee's has a money back guarantee uh, and you get your money back. You know, Nick's really good about that stuff. Um, and then again, you have like the new guy hero that just came out. And again, overall, this is a real good product here. I mean, I would, you know, is it, the, is it my top favorite product? The way it's performing, it, it's getting there. Uh, I'm going to say that um, again, just, Stay tuned for my top five. I'm gonna do one like, like Eddie. And one thing I like about both of these is that on the label back here, they state the dilutions. So I don't have to go digging around, um, you know, in, on, the, on their website, figuring out what it is. It tells you straight out here, one ounce per two gallon for both products. Uh, if you want clay lubricant, one ounce per one gallon. If you want a wireless wash, uh, 64 to one with Hero, 128 to one. Uh, from McKees. So again, a more cost effective wireless wash uh, with McKees. And again, they state a clay lubricant in here, uh, which is 128 to 1, 128 to 1. And McKees states a panel prep. I wouldn't use, I never use this as a panel prep, so I can't state how well it works. So again, I just want to make some points across when it comes to uh, rinseless washes here and how to compare them. And everybody's user experience is different. So uh, again, both great, great products. I would recommend both products. I definitely say can try both products out, see which one you like uh, better between the two. Uh, but I will tell you that um, Armor Detail Supply, at least for this side-by-side -side comparison, edges out McKee's N914 in terms of cleaning my wash media uh, and lubricity. And overall user experience is great with both. So again, that's uh, a plus for both. And from a cost perspective, I think it's $26. Don't quote me. I got to check the price. I think it's $26 for 32 ounces. And I think this is $18 for 16 ounces. So uh, again, you're going to get a little bit more bang for your buck with uh, McKee's. Uh, but other than that, both great products. Definitely check them out. Uh, you know, post your comments below if you've used both products and which one's your favorite between the two. And again, we'll, we'll start putting these up side by side against uh, other products. I will tell you, I like this better than. Uh, DIY detail rinse this wash. So I'm not going to do a comparison between this and DIY detail because I, I like this one better than uh, uh, DIY detail. That's just my personal opinion. So again, thanks for watching. Catch the next one. Take care, everyone. And uh, yeah, post down below. Take care.